the first question is on your screen in indian constitution the section of citizenship draws inspiration from which country's constitution okay so as you know that indian constitution has taken certain features from different uh, countries okay so they are asking about citizenship okay indian uh, constitution has a provision of citizenship so from which country it draws uh, this feature okay so you have four options yes yes student uh, those who have given option for uk they are right from uk uh, this indian constitution has taken citizenship uh, section okay from france if you consider they have taken the word republic from usa as you know they have taken fundamental rights judiciary and impeachment okay from australia uh, the important feature they have taken is concurrent list concurrent list okay so from which country uh, Uh, they have taken the feature that you should do at least know okay coming to the next question the concept of five year plan okay so there is one feature uh, in constitution of india five year plan that you must have heard this is very important feature from the growth and development point of view this is borrowed from which country student remember this five year plan is taken from the russia from the russia they have taken five year plan and one of the important is fundamental duties fundamental rights they have taken from united states but fundamental duties they have taken from russia okay let's see the next question which of the following constitution amendment provide right to education this is very 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 important okay and as you know this right to education is mentioned in article 21a remember 21a and it was uh, given in year 2002 okay and this uh, provision this amendment was made in amendment 86th this is very important student uh, this is very important amendment from exam point of view you should know the article number that is 21a and the amendment is 86th okay let's see the next question a very simple one when did indian constitution adopt the constitution okay a very simple one yes yes it's 26 november 1949 okay it's not 26 january 1950 it is it is entactment okay in this particular day it was entact okay whereas on 26 november 1949 it was adopted okay let's see the next question pri that is panchayati raj institution come under existence of which of the following amendment whatever the panchayat system you are looking nowadays in country they were introduced uh, in around i think 1970s okay and uh, these were uh, come under amendment and these are very important amendment again 73 and 74 okay so on 73 and 74 amendment this panchayati raj institution come into picture let's see the next question who describe preamble of india uh, as political horoscope of indian constitution okay political horoscope these are all the famous personality okay this uh, answer for this question is kanhaiya lal monkey lal munshi okay so he had uh, described the indian constitution as political horoscope means uh, whatever uh, indian constitution is saying that 
resembles to the political issues or political whatever you are doing it is mentioned in indian constitution preamble okay coming to the next uh, question which of the article of the indian constitution abolish untouchability again as i told you education is important untouchability is important as we have seen it is given in article 21a and untouchability is given in article 17 okay it is untouchability if we see other article let's see if you see article 18 uh, this is abolishment of titles so previously the government gives uh wait a minute abolishment of title so titles were given by the government that were uh, abolished in article 19 this is again very important freedom of speech is mentioned okay freedom of speech you can tell everything what you want okay freedom of speech and article 20 it gives protection okay protection against everything okay so the answer for this question is article 17 just remember it let's see the next question which of the following option has shortest constitution in the world student remember india has the largest const constitution so this is wrong united kingdom has no written constitution again it is wrong so you have norway and united state okay so student you should remember united state of america has the shortest constitution it has 7000 word approximately 7000 words in their constitution okay so for this question shortest constitution in the world is usa okay let's see the next question how many fundamental duties are expressed in article 51a of the part uh, 4a okay so student remember there are 11 fundamental duties whereas there are six fundamental rights okay these i will not describe in detail what are fundamental duties 11 fundamental duties that you should uh respect okay whereas there are six fundamental rights okay what is the difference between duties and rights that i am not going to cover in in this particular uh, model mcq session okay so the answer for this question is 11 fundamental duties are there let's see the next question when did constitution assembly meet first time okay as i told you uh this first constitution assembly met the first time is 1946 and the exact date also you should remember it is 9 december 9 december 1946 where at delhi okay at this particular time the first constitution assembly met at the parliament okay let's see the next question who appoint the chief justice of india as you know it is he is the legal uh, top position in india that is chief justice of india so who appoints chief justice of india judges of supreme court and high court pm of india president of india consultation with senior judges of supreme court and high court and president of india consultation is uh, senior judges of supreme court only student you should remember uh, it is president sorry president in consultation with supreme court and high court judges okay who is ex officio chairman of rajya sabha a very simple one yes it's vice president of india and right now it is Jag jagdeep dhankar dhankar okay so vice president of india is ex officio chairman of rajya sabha how many members were there in constitution assembly who wrote the indian constitution a very good one and very tricky one student you should remember initially there were 389 members okay but after uh, you can say after division pakistan 
separated so there were uh, members that left uh, with the pakistan so after uh, division a few of the member left and it the number become 299 okay so option 2 is the correct answer so remember initially 389 okay after division of uh, with pakistan uh, the number become 299 okay so initially there were 299 members in the constitution or assembly next question on which day is indian constitution celebrated every year in india constitution day as you know as i told you earlier it is 26th november a very simple one i will not tell you in detail why it is celebrated and that i told you earlier fundamental duties of indian constitution are borrowed from which country yes it is ussr right now it is russia so they have taken fundamental duties from russia whereas fundamental rights they have taken from usa again don't confuse with fundamental rights and fundamental duties fundamental duties from ussr fundamental rights from usa okay let's see the next question the first planning commission was set up in india in which year a very simple one when uh, you got the uh, constitution the first thing is the planning so planning commission should be set up in year 1950 and 1950 is the right answer quickly coming to the next question the indian constitution declare india as uh, as i know all of you know that it is known as union of state okay indian constitution india that is bharat okay nowadays bharat and india terminology there is much debate but indian constitution declare india as a union of state that you should remember dash is the largest democracy in the world that i told you many times it is india whereas shortest uh, constitution is usa okay the constitution of india contain how many schedules yes 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 it is 12 schedule there are certain numbers that you should know 12 schedule 11 fundamental duties six fundamental rights okay these are basic question that you should know at least uh, these men okay quickly moving to the next question who among the following can be removed by the process of impeachment this question we have seen in one of the previous year questions okay and it is the president of india i have told you many times that impeachment uh is a process through which president of india can be removed also under article 61 okay what is the tenure of cec chief election commission yes it's not 5 year student it is 6 year and up to the age of 65 whichever is earlier this is only the difference in chief election commission so remember it is 6 years not 5 years let's see the next question in india state with dash of population get more representative as you know it depends upon the size so the state with more area get more uh, number of members okay so the larger the size the larger will be the representative so option 4 will be the right answer coming to the next question who among the following can appoint cag comptal auditor general of india yes yes it's it's president okay so president uh, can appoint cag okay a person who advocate separation of state from religious institution is called uh yes this is secularism okay so it, it is independent of any religion so secularism is the correct answer okay let's see the next question which of the motion is passed in parliament to remove president of india as i told you in the previous question also it is called impeachment motion so option 1 is the right answer quickly moving to the next question the eight schedule of indian constitution include how many language yes 
yes anyone yes yes it's 25 or 22 yes you are right okay let's see the next question when did constitution assembly adopt the constitution of india they are asking adoption it is 26 november 1949 okay and enactment is 26 january 1950 let's see the next question right to freedom is guaranteed in which article okay Stud student you should remember this is article 19 and right to freedom include include speech residence wherever you want to stay you can stay whatever you can want to say you can say okay whatever the profession you want to follow you can follow that is right to freedom and it covers under article 19 okay so article 19 article 21 is artic uh, right to education that these are basic one that you should know at least uh, these articles okay who among the following was the first finance minister of independent india yes uh, abdul kalam azad is a education minister first okay he is the first president okay he is the uh, you can say he is the chairman of the drafting committee whereas r k shakuntam shetty uh, was the first finance minister okay of independent india